eat the box. I was wanted to read it. Stop reading it. Thank you. <laughs> Mom's here too. Everyone say hi to Mom. Hi, Mom. <laughs> That's when you say hi back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, so this is what's in the box. I showed you my address, but I'm not looking. But that's what's in the box. Binge box. What is this magical? This is actually okay. Is there nothing that tells me about the box? Like how am I supposed to? How am I supposed to tell? Just go through it. Say what's in it. Okay. What is this? I'm so confused, but so happy at the same time. What is my life right now? Does this mean I'm a big booktuber? Is that what this means? Am I on the the, the scale of booktube stardom yet? Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I got home from work and I uh, went to the mailbox and uh, this was here. Do you see how big it is? It's like bigger than my head. <laughs> package from Penguin Random House Canada. And apparently it's hashtag blockbuster books. I have no idea what this is, but this is exciting because it's giant and... <laughs> so without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> so yeah, I have no idea what's in this box. <laughs> open it, open it. Open it. Oh my god! <laughs> Why do I have this? I don't understand, but I'm so excited. I'm not to react right now. Like, I'm like really excited, but I'm kind of like, Why? Why did they choose me? Not that I'm complaining. I see. Is this little ticket admit one and it has escaped with a book this summer hashtag blockbuster books and I'm thinking what it is is like different movie genres are what each of the book is that's what I'm gonna guess it is I have no idea to be honest I don't know what's happening I was not expecting this but my life has just gotten so much better so there's a total of five books in here and there's like little snacks that go along with the books so I'm going to show you the snacks and then I'll show you the book that corresponds with the snack this is how we're gonna do this unboxing very exciting so the first snack are these little coca-cola bottles and honestly I love these so much I'm so excited for this and the book that goes along with that is Judy Blooms in The Unlikely Event. Back of the book says that this is a vivid portrait of three generations of families, friends, and strangers whose lives are profoundly changed during one winter. We'll see what that means. It's apparently a drama. So, very excited for that. So now, I can eat these two things, and I'm very excited because food, yes please, and book, also yes please. I'm just gonna pull them out of the box because I don't know what's happening right now. I'm too, like, excited right now to actually, like, focus on what I'm doing with my life. So I'm sorry if this video is all over the place. But the next snack is saltwater taffy. And apparently, I see dead people. The book that corresponds with the saltwater taffy is I Let You Go by Claire McIntosh. And this is a thriller book. And it says that it follows Jenna Gray as she moves to a ramshackle cottage on the remote Welsh coast, trying to escape the memory of the car accident that plays again and again in her mind, desperate to heal from the loss of her child and the rest of her painful past. At the same time, the novel tracks a pair of Bristol police investigators trying to get to the bottom of this hit and run. I'm guessing her child died in a car crash hit and run, and it's her trying to figure out who did it? I don't know. I didn't do my research for any of these books because I just got home from work and was like, oh my god, box of things, I need to open it now. The next snack is these watermelon slices. Which are one of my favorites, like, candies ever. I love them so, so much. And it is for a rom-com. The book that comes with this little snack is First Comes Love by Emily Griffin. It follows two sisters, Josie and Meredith Garland, and they shared this bond together and then tragedy strikes and their bond starts to break. Fifteen years later, Josie is now a single teacher and she wants more with her life and Meredith is married with kids and Meredith is wondering if she chose the life she actually wanted or if she just picked the easy way out. The anniversary of their family's tragedy is approaching and they realize that they need to come together to support each other and they realize that love always comes first. A little rom-com pretty excited for it. I heard Emily Griffin is a pretty great writer. I've never read one of her books, so it'll be interesting to see what I think of her writing. The next candy is Licorice Babies. I don't like licorice, so I'm going to be giving these to my dad, I'm pretty sure, because blah, I don't like it. And this is for a horror book, and the horror book is The Hatching by Ezekiel Boone. I don't know that much about this book, other than it is about a man-eating spider species and it's been dormant for years and suddenly it's back. I'm very excited and apparently it's on sale July 2016. 
but this is going to be, I'm excited to read this one. I'm excited. I think this one's going to be really cool. Spiders creep me out, so I'm kind of not excited, but also very excited at the same time. But spiders are terrifying. And the next and final candy that corresponds to a book is these little Hershey Kisses. Which are melted because they were in the mailbox in the sun all day. Sorry, but I'm still going to eat them. They're still going to be delicious. And the book that corresponds with these candies is Beware That Girl by Teresa Toten. And this is a YA book. The book follows a girl named Kate and her best friend Olivia. That's when a man named Mark comes into the picture and I believe he is a teacher and he gets especially close to all the students and the faculty life, but especially Olivia in particular and Kate realizes that he might be a threat. And I'm actually very excited about this because I've seen it around booktube and like Goodreads and it just sounded really cool. I did a terrible job explaining it, I'm sorry, but I can't think straight right now because this box is just my life. It's just too good right now. The box also came with some classic caramel popcorn from Toronto. I love Toronto, but I love caramel corn, so I'm excited for this. I'm gonna eat it probably after dinner, to be honest. I'm supposed to be on a diet right now, and here I am with all this candy. Thank you, Penguin Random House Canada, for making me fat. I appreciate it. <laughs> also sent me these toasted coconut marshmallow butter baked goods. And honestly, I'm so excited to eat these. Because coconut is like one of my favorite things in the entire world. I love coconut. They just look really, really good. And they're squishy. And just, I want to eat them now. There is also a candle. That you can put on your little shelf while you're reading. And this one's mango. And it smells so good. Like, I'm actually really excited to burn it. Once I'm done my charmed aroma one. That's what's happening. Alright guys, so that was my binge box book box thing from Penguin Random House Canada. I was not expecting it at all. Thank you so much, Penguin Random House. I honestly opened the mailbox and was like, oh my god, what is that? And I got so excited, and this is just the best day of my entire life. Thank you so much. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!